Welcome back to Daytime Live. Now you Daytime guys, Live. Daytime Live, day, yeah. So you know what people always wonder, like, why do you want to always send a liquor bottle and a talawa? Hey? Liquor bottle with talawa. I have Listen, never. I have never. Nobody liquor said that but me. talawa. We are still buzzing. So prodigiously, 28-year-old attorney at law Jordan Jarrett was the class valedictorian at Norman Manning Law School in 2018 and also for the Master of Laws class of 2022 at Columbia University, a private Ivy League research institution in New York City, USA. Now, Jarrett, who grew up in Kingston, is the only Jamaican and Caribbean native to have been admitted to Columbia Law School's Master of Laws program 2021-2022 after being granted the Smith Family Scholarship, a tuition scholarship given to students from underrepresented countries who have a track record of academic excellence. In an interview, Jared said he received various offers from several schools, including Harvard University, Columbia University, New York University, and the University College of London, but chose Columbia, which he believes was the obvious choice. He said, and I quote, Col Columba Columbia alumni, <laughs> wow, that word just flew right over there, are world changers, and that's what I'm meant to be, <sighs> end quote. At NMLS, he said the story of his parents, who are public servants, originally from rural Jamaica, and at Columbia, he shared that while some in his world fight daily to survive, others thoughtlessly thrive. That's nice. That's a word. Mm. Jarrett also said, and I quote, mm -hmm, I was completely unaware that I would have been <clears> the <throat> only Jamaican or Caribbean born student admitted to study in the Masters of Laws program. While there, I felt the weight of being an unofficial ambassador for Jamaica and also for the region. I did my best every day to show people the best that Jamaica has to offer, not just in culture and humanity, but also in academics. End quote. He continued though, he said, luckily he had a classmate in the program who was of Jamaican parentage and a few other Jamaican born students in the undergraduate law program who proudly bore Jamaica's standard with him. He continued uh, in quotes, Together we show the world every day that Jamaican people are excellent in every way. Mm -hmm. My family celebrates me every day. I had to go a week without meeting or interacting with someone who tells me about how proud my family is of me, end quote. Jared now has a mixed public law and appellate practice in Jamaica mm -hmm. and continues to continue his work in Jamaica and the region by adding my voice to serious issues of law and policy with a view to contributing to the betterment of our people. Okay, I have two things to say. First of all, have you been drinking this morning? Why, why, why? Did you have any little, little no, tipple? No, no. Little tipple in the coffee? Sup my boy. Sup my boy on today. Yeah. I love it. I love it's it though. Awesome. <laughs> Little tipple. Listen, I am so proud of us. I also want to jump in and say that Columbia University is awesome. That's where my mm -hmm. partners um, went to. And uh, amazing. Shut your mouth. I'm not speaking about this with you currently. So very, very proud of that. And I'm really, I love that he says that he wants to be an ambassador for not only, not only academically, but as a humanitarian as well. And it's just awesome sauce. I'm a proud of you, say Jared. Go on, do your thing. Nice. Yeah. Lick about with Talawa. We have another story. Guess what? Because Angus doesn't have much to add, so I'm going to just keep this boat rowing. So Rihanna took... Sure, I'll finish it. Well, <laughs> Rihanna took to the stage at Super Bowl 57 for the Apple Music Halftime Show on Sunday night and dazzled the crowd with a career spanning set list in what was her first public performance since 2018. Now, the singer ran through an incredible set that began with BBH Mumu. We know what that is? Do we know what that is? It's something about money and make sure you have it. She also went on to perform Run This Town and Ella, Ella, <laughs> Ella, A before ending with a crowd rising rendition of her hit Shine bright like a diamond. Uh, the set started Shine with Rihanna like balancing a on a platform hanging high above the field and ended up with her walking up and down a stage that almost ran the length of the field. A phone call, Craig called me. I was like, Isha, I'm just a watch a thing, just a watch a thing, wait a thing, wait a thing. Um, I'm proud of her for what she did. I'm proud that she did it. 
Um, I love the songs. Love this. Love love her songs. She's about. She's Jamaican, so you know. Say first of all, because she's Jamaican, anything she do, we love it. Just because she's Jamaican. But between me and you, privately, we don't want a little more. A little more. A little more. Uh, in other in other performance. Personally, ju just saying. Just saying. Uh, yeah? Me think, yeah. me think Travis Scott is a real Jamaican. No, Travis, what's up? True. Asap, Asap. Rocky, I Matt think Grady. Asap are the real yes. Jamaican. You know yes. Saying? Well, it's not quite Jamaican the, yet. There's other things that. Now. The man say, breathe in <laughs> and breathe out. You understand know what I'm saying? On that uh, note. <laughs> um, but funny though, a lot of persons are lauding her performance. I was like, it's okay. I think I, I think most people were like, yay, but. But anyway, we can't eh. talk about it some more. We're not talking about it. We're going to do this. I'm going to be right back with Vibe, and it's about the GK 101 anniversary. Stick and stay. We soon come back. Bye.